In the shadows of Detroit's streets, a legend has long been whispered about a creature known as the Nain Rouge. For generations, this mystical being has watched over the city's most vulnerable populations, its presence felt but rarely seen. Some say it's a monster, born from the fears and anxieties of those who dwell in poverty and squalor. Others claim it's a guardian spirit, tasked with protecting those who need protection most. One thing is certain, the Nain Rouge has left an indelible mark on Detroit's history. It emerged as a beacon of hope for the city's marginalized communities, a symbol of resilience in the face of oppression. In the days of Detroit's golden age, when industry thrived and workers toiled in the factories, the Nain Rouge stood as a sentinel against the drudgery of daily life. As the city's black community faced brutal racism and segregation, the Nain Rouge watched over them with fierce determination. It was said that if you treated others with kindness and respect, this mystical creature would look out for you. The city's Motown musicians, the likes of Barry Gordy, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye found solace in its legend, their music reflecting both the struggles and the hope that defined their community. But as Detroit struggled to reclaim its identity and find solace in its troubled past, the Nain Rouge became a focal point for urban legends and folklore. Some said it was a monster born from colonialism and racism, forced to live in poverty and squalor while the powers that be reaped the benefits. Others claimed it was a creature of the night, said to roam the city's streets in search of those who sought to exploit its most vulnerable resident. Tonight, as the city trembles beneath the weight of gentrification and erasure, the Nain Rouge has emerged once more. A banishment parade meant to rid the city of this supposed monster has instead become a manifestation of the very fears it was born from. As locals watch in horror, their own stories of struggle, resilience, and hope are erased by the very system that claims to want to protect them. But the Nain Rouge will not be silenced. Its presence still resonates through Detroit's streets, where marginalized communities continue to fight for their rights. In a city torn apart by systemic issues, this mystical creature remains an unyielding reminder of the power of hope and resilience. As we stand at the edge of this enigmatic world, one thing becomes clear. The Nain Rouge has left its mark on Detroit's history. Its legacy will continue to inspire generations to come, a testament to the enduring power of community and resistance in the face of oppression. And as we move forward into an uncertain future, it remains to be seen whether this mythical creature will remain a guardian spirit or be reduced to nothing more than a relic of a bygone era. The camera lingers on the city's skyline where the Nain Rouge stands watch over the Detroit River. Its presence is felt throughout the city in the murals that adorn its walls in the music that echoes through its streets, and in the stories of those who have been touched by this mystical creature. As we disappear into the night, one thing remains certain. The Nain Rouge will forever be a part of Detroit's fabric, a symbol of hope, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. The screen fades to black, leaving behind only the sound of crickets, a haunting reminder that even in the darkest alleys, history continues to unfold.